Hello, I'm Elizabeth Hall with Smart Office Help Social Media Management, and today I'm going to talk to you about setting up Google Alerts. Before we get started, I just wanted to say if you would like to get future updates on videos that are being posted, please subscribe below and also please rate this video at the end. Okay. Now, Google Alerts are very handy to have, especially if you're trying to keep up with your industry news and also to curate content. So these Google Alerts will actually go to your emails once they're set up. You don't have to have a Google account or a Gmail account for this to work, but it's more advantageous if you do. All right. Now we're here at the Google search page, but the website or the URL for the alerts is just google.com alerts. But if you forget that, or should I say google.com slash alerts, just put in Google alerts and it will pop up. So here you are right here for Google alerts. So let's go to Google alerts and it's really simple to set up. You'll put in your search query query. You can actually put in your business. You can put in your name. You can put in certain things. So I'm going to put in Elizabeth Hall, which is actually very common because of Queen Elizabeth. And you'll see automatically it's going to show you in real time some of the alerts that are coming up. So let's put in another one. We'll put in social media we'll say trends and see what comes up so we have social media trends and this is what comes up so now you can refine your search so you can say you want everything you only want to search news blogs videos discussions or books so you can choose one of those we'll just leave it at everything and then how often do you want these alerts to come in or to notify you and you can pick once a day you can do them as they happen or once a week so if you pick as they happen you're going to be getting a lot of emails so you might want to be careful with how you choose these and then how many uh, only the best results or you want all the results so remember google is the largest search engine so if you put in all the results you're going to get some pretty long lists so you may only want to put in just the best results for this and then you're going to put your email in i'm just going to put test at yahoo even though that's not a real one it's going to actually create the alert so you'll hit create and it says google has created this alert now what happens the alert is created but you don't see anything else well remember that you selected to be notified at certain times you put your email in there and it's going to send an email to you either once a day as it happens or once per week so you'll get those emails now um, i'll show you you can actually monitor or manage your alerts so here if I go to manage alerts here's some alerts that I put in and you can see I had them to come in once today only the best results and they go to specific email so here you can edit those alerts so you would go to one and you would edit it and you actually have to have a Google account in order to edit these so let me just put in So now I can edit these alerts. So we'll go to edit and you can change it. You can delete them if you wanted to. Select, you can delete the alerts out if you wanted to. You can switch to text emails here. You can export your alerts out. Any kind of way you wanna do it, you can pretty much set it up. So these are really handy to have again, like I said, so you should consider if you're curating content or if you're just trying to keep up with the brief brief news for your industry, then these are great to have. So that's it for Google Alerts. If you have any social media related questions, please leave those in the comments. I will answer those in a future video or on a podcast. So go out and grow your networks using social media. Have a great day.